Guys, this isn't even funny anymore. Look at this. <laughs> I have no idea what has happened to USPS and our four boxes. In case you're just joining us, hi, I'm Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you for joining us. And look, another box is crushed. Oh, I'm so sad. But look here. Woo! -hoo. This box is lined. 17.2 pounds of exotic bohemian. Well, let's kick this boho box off with some of the smalls because they are so darn adorable. First, we have this really cool, hey, it's our spirit animal right off the bat, right? It's a locket, has that fashion um, kind of scroll work back. So I'm not sure who made this, but boy, it's hefty as I'll get out. Look at this little cute, I don't know, like a trinket box, a pill box, you know, with all of the little rhinestones and beading, totally adorable. This little pin with, looks like a moose. And this is a 2004 Olympic torch. Love that. Piece of jasper. Oh, kind of reminds me, you know, it's definitely fashion, but it could have been either a pendant or off of a bracelet. Look at this cute little thing. This almost looks like a jelly belly fish, doesn't it? Look how cute with the little bead there. That's adorable. Okay, we have the two rings this is a spoon ring i mean it's gonna always be called a spoon ring right i uh, you know it's in really nice shape it's kind of small but lovely and this one would have been made out of a fork you know what nothing is agreeing with me today this one isn't anywhere near uh, nice quality as this one and it has tarnish but i'm not going to clean it up i'm going to go ahead and leave it the one thing i just enjoy about boho is that anything goes I love this style you know let's start over here with this ring it is plastic and it has that avocado green you know that 60s green it's plastic with that nice shimmer on the inside you know this is very reminiscent of something that would have been found in a Cracker Jack box back in the day not those transfer sticker cheap th don't get me started it's just garbage you know it's not fun kids cannot have the fun we had back in the day I'm telling you we have this cute little brass ring. Same thing with this one. Both are small. A little enameled ring. Cute plastic with that flower in there. Faux turquoise, but it is very, you know, modern. We have a cute, cute souvenir ring here from the Golden Gate Bridge. Woohoo, California. Very 60s flower power here. Nice, big, hefty setting, but it's a newer setting anyway. This one, I'm leaning towards dyed something. Uh, I don't know if it's glass or if it's a dyed stone with that webbing. It's very cool. Heavy as all get out. It is a stretch, so any, just, you know, about anybody could wear that one. And that purple, oh, to die for. You know, this one is kind of like what doesn't fit in here. You know, you've got a very styled, you know, very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's really a conservative style. And boho is really more about, you know, kind of in your face, you know, anything goes. But I enjoy it anyway. I mean, it's still silver tone and rhinestones. It's beautiful. And then in there was this little set of rings that are kind of hooked together. They're all the same style, these four here. And then this one with the little red, you know, the little red uh, cabochons here. So... Not a bad selection, and oh, look at this, look at this. I'm telling you, I love this box. And this is a great representation of what I'm talking about with anything goes with boho. All right, let's talk about um, the fish. All of these are pins, so we have this cute little hand-painted fish with, I'm assuming that's gonna be, you know, like the fishing line, ah, but cute, right? There are three of these puffy cushion pens with beautiful beadwork here. I, you know what? These are just fabulous. They do have quite a bit of girth to them. I'm going to say at least an inch and a half. So that would definitely stick off of a sweater. But I, I love the colors. Beautiful work. Okay. And when I said, and I know I've said it a lot, you have really no idea what are going to be in these boxes. Okay, what is this? Is this Medusa with this 
this beaded hair work here? What is this? Is this like the pumpkin goblin? I'm not sure, but I can tell you what. I stabbed the ever-loving um, beep out of myself with this in the box. But how fun and cool and funky is this? Again, you never know what will be in these things. Usually I wait to the end of the video to show you my favorite pieces. I, I can't wait. I have to show you this because this is by far one of my favorite pieces through the whole journey we've gone on this last year and a half. This is beautiful. I don't know if this is artisan made. I have a feeling that it is as opposed to a commercial made piece. This has no backing. So you can see all of the beautiful work, all of the beautiful pieces. This necklace has everything from glass to crystal to gemstones. These are some form of maybe a dyed gemstone, maybe a neon apatite. I, wouldn't that be great? It's probably got like a dyed agate or quartz, but gorgeous. It has this beautiful kind of that cognac color rhinestone in the middle. This is the embodiment of everything I love in jewelry. The different sizes, the squares, the rounds, the teardrops. I just, ah, I love this piece so much. And um, we found it. Uh, let me know down below what you think of this piece. I'm not kidding. I am beyond in love with this piece. Can you tell? Okay, I'm already sounding like a giddy, you know, schoolgirl. I might as well just keep going down the rabbit hole here. Okay, this is another one of the drop dead favorites from mine of this box. You know, obviously it's a fashion piece, but these have the acrylic drops. Each one has the different color. And look, it had the <laughs> earrings. How simply amazing is this? Okay, so then there was this one. And then let me show you this last one here that all three of these had basically the same kind of theme here with this, the shape. Look at the beadwork on this one. Ugh, it's to die for. This one is on a felt backing. Look at this piece. Look at the work and the love somebody put into this piece. You have the rhinestones, the seed beads, the different style of beads. This is absolutely to die for. And no lie, I have to be channeling the Partridge family. I mean, I am finding tons of things that look like Partridge family. The last box, we had a necklace that had the same colors as the Partridge family bus. This one even has like blocking, like the Partridge family bus. But look at, the, I mean, this, this is gorgeous. Look at this piece. I would wear that in a hot minute. This icky, ch no, we're not even going to talk about the cord. But let's look at this. The design, just the coloring. If this doesn't scream fall, I don't know what does. But I know what screams beautiful in a Partridge Family kind of way because I think I love you. Um, this is, look at this dome. Can you tell? I mean, here's my finger touching it. This is a nice big old round, fat glass pendant. And it has, you know, normally, I don't know if I've ever seen pink on the inside swirled around with the golds, the yellows, the blues. This is just to die for, too. Look at this thing. Okay, now, granted that, uh, I don't know if we're ever going to find another one that touches that I just, I love, okay, have I mentioned the fact that I love this box? I love this box. Some of the other goodies we have, these look like ceramic beads. They're gorgeous with this teal color. And then look at this shark's tooth. Uh, you know, man, woman, unisex, great piece here. This looks like a maybe dyed quartz, could be natural. I mean, the color is kind of veining out through the back here. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has beautiful wooden beads that are faceted. I don't know if we have anything like that of faceted wooden beads. They're gorgeous. Some of the faux turquoise and some of the glass beads on cord. Looks like banded agate on this pendant. 
and this has, mm, I don't know what that symbol is. I'll have to look, but how cool is that? I love that color. Here we have the ball and chain necklace, black that black rhodium color look. This looks like a man-made, um, it's definitely heavy. It's not acrylic, I think that's glass. And it has beautiful representation of other elements here. How beautiful is this? Let's move on to my three absolute favorite smalls in this box. All three have glass beads. I know, shocker. This one has everything from like this uh, frosted, almost like sea glass pink to this purple, almost this lavender look here too. I mean, this is, it's small, but it is gorgeous. This one has kind of the same look. I mean, all of these are like, you know, in the 16 to 18 inch realm, but these have beautiful square beads. I mean, gorgeous. And there's not a ton of them, but there's enough pop here to make it really worth your while to wear it. This is very muted. This is to really catch your eye. These glass beads almost look like a teardrop, but they do have an end, so it's not quite a, you know, not quite a teardrop, but it kind of has that effect in this silver tone. Very muted, but boy, does this thing sparkle like nobody's business. This box just keeps on giving. Look at the beautiful heart and the very, very tiny pearls that are on the top end near here. I just I love this. Beautiful throwback. It says hope. This one has faith with the little angel, this tiny key, and this gorgeous Rivoli rhinestone. I mean, that is drop dead gorgeous. This has the tricolor, the rose gold, the, you know, the white gold and the uh, yellow gold look. And it has laugh, love, and live. And the eclectic vibe just keeps on rolling. This kind of looks like, I mean, almost like a bird cage or an upside down uh, balloon with a great little faceted uh, crystal dangle. This very simple chain with the circle. So maybe, you know, um, maybe a love symbol here. This one has an enameled little purse charm with these great, beautiful AB crystals here. And it is marked High Intercity. So that's interesting. Uh, this one has these dainty, I mean, look at them. I mean, this is how tiny that is. It has almost like this clover look here and these tiny red beads. And that is just oh, to die for. And this one here is by Express. It is also on that black rhodium looking chain with the little pearls. So each of these station has the four little pearls and then the four gray beads. So that is really, really stunning also. So this looks like a nice piece of mother of pearl. Next, here's next to the quarter. And then I'm not sure what kind of shell. I believe this is abalone. I mean, it has the right look. But look at the color variation. Look at the size. This one isn't as thick as the other one, but in terms of presence, I mean, oh my word. Anyone say earrings? Usually a boho box doesn't have too, too many earrings, but this one actually had some nice ones. Okay, maybe not, uh, you know, conventional for a boho box. We have upside down, you know, Halloween bats. You know, they're that, you know, kind of acrylic-y material. So we have them. These are certainly more boho with the lead, you know, the uh, feathers from the drop here. Those are very boho, both in the silver tone and like a brass tone. This really is more fashion than boho, but pff, they gave them to us. We will certainly be happy to have them. You know, we have the smaller, and then certainly the ones that don't even want to fit in the packaging. But, ooh, clankability here. That is definitely a boho look. The blue glass on those, oh, to die for. And we have some beautiful, like the faux turquoise, except they do have some painting. Certainly some of my favorite right here with the blue shell and then the blue rhinestone in the middle. Ugh. Gorgeous. I mean, very typical looking pieces. 
Very festive, very colorful looking pieces. I mean, you know, we got the gamut of, you know, boho, that's for sure. Gorgeous. And then you always end up with something that you're not quite, you know, that you'd receive. These are Monet. I mean, they don't really look boho, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And boy, are we happy to have them. And then these are still on the card. These are by Brave Sunday. Uh, BraveSunday.StoreEnvy.com And they have beautiful, you know, that icy blue, the gold tone, and clear. Box also had some beautiful metallic pieces. This has the copper look and the brass look, uh, silver tone, multi strand at the bottom, single strand at the top. Beautiful piece. Can't go wrong with a multi strand bracelet marked Japan. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all the beads here. Definitely haven't had one of these, so that was certainly a nice find. This is multi-strand, see if I can't get it to lay flat. So we have the little shells, and beautiful little rhinestones, and then the pink with the gold tone drop. Very dainty, but very sophisticated looking. Love that piece too. Multi-stone gem chip with the little enamel heart. It says Julia on it. Now, this is really colorful. We have some wooden beads, we have seed beads, gold tone, almost like a little bit of a collar look to it, multi-strand up top. That is really pretty too. This one has a hang tag. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It sort of looks like a sun, but it's not. We have the little drops. And we have tiger's eye. Looks like maybe some dyed quartz. Almost looks like jade. Uh, you know, some really, really beautiful colors here. This is very dainty. This is the XC. Just look at how... I mean, that is so dainty. The bracelet selection didn't disappoint either. We have had this particular stretch style in a couple of different colors. This one is that really beautiful avocado looking green nice chunky shell you know, it has a lot of texture although i think this is the first time we've had like this mother of pearl kind of bar style and this is heavy and flat out gorgeous i would wear that one in a heartbeat had some beautiful metallic and look at this copper brass combination gorgeous condition that's gorgeous this double rhinestone on probably faux leather. And this is a gorgeous rhinestone. It has beautiful rhinestones, both in clear and in the red. It's a clamper. I mean, it is quite a nice little statement piece. Ended up with a beautiful brass bracelet, you know, cuff, beautiful. And in silver tone. So those two would be, you know a nice addition to any wardrobe had our fair share of beadwork so this one has a toggle and all of the little intricate coloring on each one of the stations here uh, stretch nice glass beautiful green this is one that has the wood toggle I love those Look at all the colors, very fall. I think that would go really, really nice this time of year. We have carved beads and the little rhinestone stations with the pair here. So that is a great little trio as well. This is fashion, but the center station, that red, ugh, certainly is eye-catching. These are all so big, I think they're anklets. You know, we have the great, great stations with the AB glass beads. 
and the silver bar style, but you can see, I mean, and I have a, a pretty large wrist, so I'm gonna say these are anklets. Great little pop of the bangles, all in really nice shape. We had several glass bracelets. So we have the ceramic, these really, really kind of blood red pink. Uh, I think these are enamel over. And then these are the cutest little chili peppers. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a chili pepper bracelet? Some really outstanding plastic. Nice, heavy, substantial, gorgeous pieces here too. And the great selection of bracelets continues. This one has a wonderful cat's eye effect bead here and two plastic you know, faux crystals. These are all wood. This is another great wood one. And so is this one with the you know, sideways cross. Every box, <laughs> everyone has one of these. This is a great little one. It's a, you know, a multitude of cuffs all hooked together. Nice silver tone on that one. This is a great little cuff. You know, very fashion. You know, it's not a, not a stone. It's acrylic. Nice big clamper. Has a little bit of condition issue, but I think somebody would still rock that, especially at Halloween. I think that would be great some beautiful beadwork we have going on here. Look at this bangle. I mean, nothing like Gianna, obviously, but I mean, gorgeous piece. A stretch and two, you know, beadwork here. Look at these. Gorgeous. And then this one's a stretch. Those are ugh, to die for. Okay, that one is, you know, it's lighter weight. It's not um, extremely substantial. You know, kind of has a, you know, worked back here. But those are decent size stone chips. Very fashion forward here. It has a little bit of everything going on. Multi-chain, you've got the big rhinestones. Nice big look. If that's you know what you're into, that would be a great one for you. you know, nice big, you know, cuff again. I think again Halloween would be good. A lot of people are looking for stuff like that, you know, for their costumes. Just a little standard fashion. This is you know certainly you know fit a lot of people. Great representation of there. A uh, leather with Mary stamped in it. And, you know, sad that we have her bracelet. These are all like the slinky types, you know, but they all have really, really pretty beads. Let me grab a few more. Okay, these three are plastic, but great beads. They kind of have a nice twist to them. You know, they have a really, really great look. And this is another, you know, stretch. Has a nice big glass piece here and two ceramic beads. That one has a lot of nice potential there too. Two stretch, silver tone, lighter weight. And I think those would be great for the office. And then we have a few very lightweight, very dainty silver tone and a gold tone and a gold tone with the red, white, and blue. Okay, the box did not disappoint with some beautiful necklaces, wooden beads. Look at the colors on here with the, the salmon and the purple and the lilac. I mean, this is multi-strand. That is huge, large, in a charge, and gorgeous. Okay, this is a beautiful black and brown wooden bead. Nice stretch. Boho box wouldn't be complete without some animals. 
you know, this one is a different composition that, you know, usually we get one or the other. We get birds or we get the animals of prey or just, you know, the safari animals. This one has all three. So, all right. Beautiful teal, kind of the salmon color, all the way down to the really, really bright pink. This one has a muted, almost like a taupe color, red. The unfinished beads, a little beat up, but not too bad. This one has some really high polished beads. Uh, this has like the skull and crossbones on it. This one has the swords. So that's kind of fun, right? Then we have this beautiful beaded Hefty, hefty, hefty piece right here. I mean, that is quite a statement and a half right there. That'll lead us into uh, this color, this periwinkle, multi-strand. I mean, this is truly, truly gorgeous. Look at the, the work and the sparkle and the great details on the findings. Beautiful piece. Okay, and this one has the black and hot pink. I have doubled that over. It's just a very, very long single strand. We have two plastic. One is a little longer than the other. These are that kind of that salmon color and white swirl. These are plastic. Very interesting. And then we have these three great plastic chunky stretch bracelets. I mean, ugh, that's a statement right there. Then we're gonna move into some really beautiful beads. Multi-strand with the pink beads. Look at how long and gorgeous that is. Oh, I think you could wear that. Oh, a whole lot of places. Okay, I have not seen this type of composition. So I'm wondering if an artist made this. It's multi-strand and then it veers off here into a whole bunch of strands of the rolled beads. And if you've ever tried to make them, boy, they're they're not, um, you know, it's not as easy as it looks to make these beads. But it has the great color all the way from the brown down to the that magenta. So that is quite, you know, quite a statement there. This is one of the longest ones we've had in a very long time. Uh, Multi-strand, seed beads, brown, black, and just, I mean, this is heavy, large and in charge, and just beads for days. I mean, look at this. Let's see if I can't do it like this. Look at all of those beads. Huge! That is a massive undertaking to make that right there. And then this one has the beautiful, almost like those bracelets. And then it has the drop are all of these beads down here. So that is quite a piece as well. And I'm not sure exactly what these are made of. It's not wood. I think maybe acrylic. So we have the black birds and you know, like the little suns. And then the flowers. And then I believe those are feathers. So that's quite a unusual composition right there. This next group has some gorgeous pieces. Okay, this one is very much in the David Yerman style. I mean, look at this bail. It has the magnetic clasp inside. Uh, this pendant has both blue enameling and black enameling. So double duty on that one. Gorgeous multi-strand, a little bit of beadwork here. We have some glass beads, a lot of seed beads. Very nice silver tone statement piece. 
All of these are articulate, very, very, very nice, and very substantial. That piece is certainly hefty. Gorgeous. The faux pearl, got all the rhinestones through it. I mean, you can't move this thing without it shimmering and sparkling and oof. But it's lightweight, so easy wear. Clankability. Okay, this is just huge. I mean, this thing is heavy. It has, <laughs> has great presence. I mean, you're going to know you're wearing this thing, that's for sure. Here's the quarter. You can see the size of the hearts compared to it and the size of the chain. So pretty good size there. We have this really nice big statement pendant here. I mean, look at the quarter. Look at it. Great. You know that rose? I mean, I just love the rose. So that is a nice hefty piece there. Wouldn't be a box without a beautiful little cross. This one just simply says faith in the middle. This is you know, like a faux liquid silver and faux turquoise. We've had quite a few of these lately. Okay, this isn't really boho at all, but it is simply gorgeous though. We have the gold tone and the two bolos, so you can make this as long or short as you'd like. Here is another nice statement piece here. We have the multi-strand cord and this really nice textured pendant. That's got some weight to it as well. Okay, this one is multi-strand. And it has the glass beads and all of the different silver bits and pieces. It's, you know, medium weight. Not too, too heavy, not too, too light. This single strand has gorgeous black. I think they're, I think they're glass with the way the texture is running through them. On this, it's not really, it's almost like a uh, antiqued silver tone. It's not real bright in your face. You know, it's really, really nice. Has great statement piece to it. Okay, and we have more Spirit Animal. It is a single length chain. And the owls, there are six of them in total, run the length of the chain. I mean, I thought that was kind of cool. They're showing up again for us. And here we have plastic and glass beads. The red are definitely plastic. The metallic beads feel very much glass. Okay, and this one is marked Chaps. It's a really cute little faux turquoise pendant. All right, we are certainly on the home stretch. Oh, this box was so good. All right, this one is J. Crew. These have beautiful feel. They're heavy. I think these are ceramic beads. This just has a a much nicer weight. Uh, just gorgeous with the little rhinestones. Oof, loving that. This is a nice long like business chain. It has both sil silver tone and gold tone. This one has that black rhodium look with both the silver discs and the black ones so that's got a lot of nice you know because it has like the negative space a lot of color play with that one okay not my favorite you know with the memory wire but it's still in really good shape which is something we don't find too too often with the boxes i mean if you go back through our boxes you can see and oh some of those wires are bent all right this is a beautiful necklace has glass beads, bright, bright gold beads. And, you know, this is like a, almost like an Indian style. I wouldn't have, I would have loved to have found the earrings. They were probably the Jumka style. You know, they kind of, they're rounded, almost look like a woman's skirt. These are, ah, uh, gorgeous. Okay, and this is a set. In fact, we have the earrings too. 
So we have all of this fun beaded work here. And then we have the matching bracelet. And then we do have the earrings. We saw them earlier. So that is a fun, I mean, that is just full on fun. Okay, something that is kind of like, you know, from Sesame Street, one of these things doesn't belong. Uh, not really typical, but here is a Monet necklace. Uh, you know, just one of the, you know, white and gold beads. So that was an interesting find. Let's put it that way. This long, 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 super long. So we have the glass beads and this chain. Um, you're not a real big fan of this chain. It's pretty lightweight. And these are heavier glass beads. So I would just, I really, I think I would harvest these and put them on a nicer chain. I think they need to be paired with something a little nicer. Beautiful hematite. These have wonderful swirl beads here. So it's a nice composition. You know, we've got the um, the nice smooth texture of the beads going around the neck. I think it's, you know, somebody would really be happy to wear that. Okay, we have another really, really long beaded necklace. Let's see if we just double it here. There we go. But look at all the colors, the blues, the greens, you know, the clear beads, and the different styles. I mean, you have everything from like a pressed bead to just like a freeform bead. Pfft, gorgeous. Perfect for this time of year, I can tell you that right now. Some really nice cat's eye beads, very simple barrel clasp. You know, just a very classic little necklace. These have the Melifiore type beautiful glass beads, you know, with the little flowers in the design. Again, you know, perfect for any time of year. I mean, but spring, oh. And even this time of year too, I mean, you have a lot of the red and green in this one. I think this would go great with a Christmas sweater. I think it would just be fun. A rose quartz little stretch bracelet. Here is, you know, faux turquoise. And this one is, it has the mark that I just, I just don't know. I don't, we have two of these. So I just don't know, it's almost like a sun, but it's not really a sun, so I have to look it up. These look like lemon quartz with this great brass leaf here. I just think that is a really, really classic fall piece right here. Think, ooh, think this time of year, I just want it to be so cold so quickly. And today will probably be 100 degrees here. Almost October. <laughs> okay, these have some fabulous glass beads and then some acrylic beads. Uh, you know, it's a dual strand, has quite a composition going on here. You know what, this box has just been amazing. I loved so many pieces in this box. This one here for the clasp, that flower and then the leaf, I think that is gorgeous these green glass swirl beads aren't uh, aren't those fabulous i'm thinking fall oh yes yes please and then we have these the frosted but they have textures that almost look like a it like the ribs of a pumpkin really neat i you know i like that one too can you tell i liked a lot of things in this i really really did here's the bracelet so you've got not only the necklace but you have a beautiful bracelet that goes with it this is also perfect for this time of year. We have the amber color beads, the beautiful, you know, it's not really an orange, but you know, it's, it's in that family with this drop here. So again, perfect for fall. And then really it was a nice little find. We don't find too, too much orange. And these all have like that cat's eye effect. So beautiful, you know, glass beads and a nice big pendant here. You know, um, older style barrel clasp. Okay, and this one still, um, this one still has my heart too. You know, give me some glass beads and I'm a happy gal. This one has the matching earrings. And look at all of the articulation. I think, 
really with that smoky look oof this this is going to be stunning on i'm thinking it is just going to be full-on gorgeous beautiful multifaceted stone bead necklace these have tons of faceting so i don't know if these are just all different colors of maybe you know i i don't know but i have a feeling it's something more common like an agate you know something like that uh, jasper um, but these are gorgeous okay we have two pieces here look at these um thinking we have some really really nice soda light here these are heavy large and in charge and then this is beautiful and for the crafty part of this adventure this box had four pounds seven ounces of craft and another eight ounces of belt material uh you know it's not in bad shape and i think one of my graph you know my crafty folks would probably enjoy using it and the last three pieces in the box uh, very nice we have this really beautiful little pendant with the nice saying, live your dreams. It is 925, it's marked 925, the chain's marked 925. And then we have this older 925 piece and it needs to be, you know, definitely cleaned. And then this beautiful articulated cross, all three pieces float around. And this is marked 18 karat gold filled. Uh, you know what? fabulous box i love boho i love that it's just so eclectic there's a little something for literally everybody i love this box thank you so much you guys we really appreciate you kiking and commenting and subscribing we really appreciate you being here thank you so much until next time take care we'll see you soon